Hi everyone, my name is Marissa and welcome to the Beauty Playlist series on Elle Canada's YouTube channel. Today's look was date night beauty and I was so excited to go through this because I was provided a ton of lip options. I think the best sort of makeup for a date is one that is naturally enhancing, that doesn't completely conceal all of your features, but is enhancing all of them at the same time. The key to a natural makeup look is balance. So when I had a very bold eye, such as in this tutorial, I'll make the eyebrows a lot more natural looking, not add too much to them, the skin will also be natural, and then the lips will stay natural as well. So stay tuned to this episode to see my favorite smoky eye for date night, as well as the lip options that I'll pair with it. So the first product that I'm starting with from the box is the Quo Barely There Eye Palette. This one has eight different shades, varying from sort of buff nudes, taupey browns, pale pinks, and then more charcoal-y grays. This is great for giving you a nude, neutral eye. So I'm going to start taking a flat eyeshadow brush into the taupey shade. And I'm using a flat eyeshadow brush because I'm just packing on the color. Then I'm going for the taupey brown shade in the palette, and I'm just going to take it right under the eye. Adding the shading below the eye also helps to add more depth, which projects the whites of the eyes forward, and it makes your eyes look bigger and the whites of the eyes even brighter. Now I'm taking a combination of the two last shades, which are darker, sort of charcoal-y gray, and I'm just gonna take a pencil brush, looking down into my mirror, and then just chiseling out the socket. This immediately makes your eyes look deeper, which also adds to that brightness and largeness and more awake appearance of your eyes. Just taking the same combination of the last two eyeshadows back on the pencil brush and just taking it in the outer third of the eye. To add to the smokiness of this look, I'm going to bring out another one of the products from the box this week. This is the Bourjois Color Band Eyeshadow and Eyeliner Pencil. It's a chubby, waterproof eyeliner stick, and this is in black, noir abstrait, as it says on the label. And I'm going to use this one in the waterline and the lower tight line, as they call it, to just really enhance the whites of my eyes. One of the tips I have for doing this is to use your pinky as an anchor and very gently tug on the lower lash line and that will make it easier to sort of put in all of that eyeliner. Then, before it dries, blink really hard and that will help to kind of stamp the rest of the eyeliner on the top part of the eye. I know it looks funny, but it's just a really easy and simple way without going in and sticking an eyeliner pen into your eye to really enhance the eyelashes. If you're into a super black winged eyeliner, you can go ahead and continue on with the bourgeois pencil, but I'm going to use my favorite brown eyeliner pencil to just add more of a smoky, diffused dimension to my eyeliner, just above the lash line. I'm going to pull the eyeliner outwards and upwards. Nothing on the brush, just the eyeliner that I had applied. To just add more of an upwards lift to the eye. Now onto mascara. This is the mascara I was sent. It's the Physician's Formula Eye Booster Instant Lash Extension Kit. It's a two-part kit, which involves a mascara and then fibery sort of extensions, if you will that go on between coats of mascara. They stick to the mascara and then the coat that goes on top of it will seal them in. Mascara is by far, I think, one of the most important date night essentials, if not an everyday essential as well, because it really just enhances your eye more than anything else. So already it's quite a lengthening mascara, but before that dries, I'm going to take these fibery sort of extensions, as they call them, closing my eye, and just brushing them onto the tip. Then going back with the mascara and sealing in that coat. So as you can see, this mascara really works for really adding length and thickness to your eyelashes. I feel like I'm wearing false eyelashes. Now I'm just taking a cotton pad soaked in a micellar water and I'm just going to clean up all of the fibers that might have fell as well as any eyeshadow that I find is kind of out of place. This is exactly the reason why I did an eye look first before I did the skin, because you can really clean things up. Now I wiped off a little bit of the eyeshadow underneath 
but that's okay. We can totally add that on top of the foundation as soon as I'm done. Okay, I'm back. So what I've done is I've applied some foundation, some concealer, I blended that all in, and then I added a little bit of powder just in the T-zone and particularly under the under eyes. I've added a little bit of sculpting around my cheekbones and forehead, and then a little bit of highlighter on the top of the cheekbones and down the center of the face. Now's the time, as I was saying, to finish up the eyes, so I'm going to go back in with the brown eyeliner pencil. and just fill in the corners of the eyes. I'm going to continue in with the taupe and charcoal shades that I was using. And then just blend that in under the eye. And then final step, taking that brown taupe shade, it's getting a lot of mileage. And then just blending, blending, blending. One of the great things about smudgy, lived-in eyeshadow looks is that if you get mascara, you can just kind of smudge it away. Everybody makes mistakes. Now for the cheeks, I was given a color that I think is so perfect. It's a really beautiful sort of peachy pink. This is Hibiscus by Annabelle. It has a little bit of a golden shimmer too, so I'm just going to take some of that on my fluffy brush. Hopefully on a date you're gonna be smiling a lot, so I like to smile and place the blush right where the apples of my cheeks are while I'm smiling. As you can see, this gives a really lovely pink sheen to the cheeks because of that golden shimmer, and it just gives a really healthy, glowy, and happy look. For the eyebrows, I wanted to keep them as natural as possible while making them a little bit more presentable, filling them in a little bit to make them look a little neater. So I filled in my eyebrows with an eyebrow pencil, and then I used a bit of this Essence Eyebrow Fixing Pencil that I was sent in the box. This is a creamy, smooth wax in a pencil form, so you have the ease of use of a pencil but the staying power of a wax. First in the box for lips are these Bite Beauty Lush Lip Wipes. These are resveratrol infused so they have an antioxidant that will help to keep your lips healthy and happy. These are great to just throw one in your purse so you can just wipe off your lipstick really easily, really quickly and discreetly. Bite Beauty is one of my favorite lipstick brands because number one, they're Canadian. Number two, they do all food grade ingredients, hence the name Bite Beauty. I was sent so many fun lip products that I have to show them all to you in the video. So these Bite Beauty lip wipes are also gonna be really great to show you all the colors. A smoky eye classically goes with a nude lip and I think I found my new favorite nude lipstick and it's from the drugstore. This is the Essence Long Lasting Lipstick in the Nude Collection. This is a number two porcelain doll. It's just a really pale, pale nude color. It's not for everybody, but it's more of a pinky peach pale nude that is really creamy on the lips and really comfortable. My skin tone is very light, so I can tend to pull off things like this, but for people with darker skin tones, what I recommend is layering a lip liner underneath, and that will add a little bit more pigment. This is the NARS Medano Beach Velvet lip liner. It's this really beautiful, more brownie mauve color, and I think that these two together would pair really well. If you watched my last video, you know that I was obsessed with the Marc Jacobs Highliner Eye Pencil, not only because it was super pigmented, the color was gorgeous, and the pencil was waterproof, but because of the design. And the NARS pencil has the same thing. It has a little sharpener in the back, and then the actual lip liner twists up, and you can sharpen the lip pencil so you never have to go without a sharpener with a super blunt lip pencil because you all know that having a really crisp line is so important for lips. Now you can fill in the entire lip, but I do want to show the pigmentation of the Essence lipstick, so I'm just going to use my finger to blend that line in. As you can see, this is a super creamy and beautiful lipstick. I love it. Seriously, it really is one of my new favorite nudes. Another thing that you can do if you have a darker skin tone, I'm talking medium to dark complexions, is using a brown or taupey brown lip liner and just lining the outside of your lips and placing this color in the center. Not only will it help to create a more natural gradient between your natural skin tone and the very light color of this nude lipstick, but the nude lipstick will add a sort of highlight to the inner part of your lips and create more of a full bloom of volume and three-dimensionality. I'm going to use the lip wipes though because I'm going to show you the other colors that came in the box. 
Another thing I really like about these lip wipes is that there's no alcohol in them. Alcohol is something that is quite drying actually and it's found often in makeup remover or toner products just because it really does help to wipe things off of the skin. But this it contains water and melon extract and olive oil which will really help to soften the lips as well so you're not going to have dry, cracked, parched lips after you've taken off your lipstick. They feel really nice. Next is a lipstick that I love. This is the Clinique Pop Lipstick and Primer. It has a primer built right into it, so it's going to last a really long time, as well as smooth out any fine lines in your lips. I love the packaging. It's this rectangular metallic pa packaging that I think is just really, really sleek. This is the shade Nude Pop. Got a tiny bit of shimmer to it, but it's a beigey pink. And since it has a primer in it, I'm just going to apply it straight from the bullet without a lip liner. If you want a little bit of more color on your lips, this does come in a variety of other shades from the most beige to super dark reds, so you definitely will be able to find a shade for you. And I think the formula of this is so lovely. For a creamy lipstick formula, it also stays surprisingly long, and I think that that's down to the primer that's mixed into the formula. Now for a darker option for all my girls who love a more bold colored lip, this is the Maybelline Color Sensational Matte Lipstick in Touch of Spice. For any bolder lip color, I'm going to start with a lip liner. So I'm going back in with the NARS Velvet Lip Pencil in Medano Beach that I had used previously. This lipstick has its own fan base of its own. I've seen it all over Pinterest, all over Instagram, all over YouTube. It's just a beauty world mainstay. It's a little bit mauve, it's got a touch of brown to it, it's also a great nude for really dark skin tones, and I find that it's got a little bit of red in it, just a hint. What I really like about this lipstick is that it's matte, but it's got a really comfortable feeling to it. It's creamy at the same time, if that makes sense. The color is intense, and it's a really, really beautiful way to add more of a vampiness to the look. So this lipstick is just comfortable as well. You're not going to have angry, dry lips by the end of the night when you remove your lipstick. I just think that it's a really beautiful color and it's almost universally suits everyone. So that's it for date night beauty and all of my tips and tricks for a successful date night, beauty wise at least. The look ended up being a smoky eye with really full, thick lashes that emphasize the mesmeric quality of your eyes, and I gave three different lip options that are sure to suit anybody. Some parting words of advice are, keep your heels high and your head held higher, smile a lot, try to relax, and my favorite piece of advice, just be yourself. If you enjoyed this video, also make sure to subscribe by hitting that red subscribe button down below, click like. Join the conversation by using the hashtag beauty playlist on Instagram, Twitter, or Facebook, tagging at El Canada and at Marissa Roy. I hope you guys have a very successful and fun date night. Bye!